to solve it the easy problem based on longest uncommon substitutions one and it is a 5 times to 1 problem so let's go to the question so we are given two strings a and b we are given two strings a and b these are our strings right and uh, that can be obtained after deleting any number of characters from this for example abc is a subsequence of a e b d c because you can delete the underlined uh, uh, the underlined uh, characters in a e b d c which is uh, e and d uh, to get abc right other subsequences of a e b d c include a e b d c a e b and empty strings this is how we get the length of the strings and uh, the uncommon subsequence uh, between two string is a string that is subsequence of one but not the other so we have to return the length of the longest uncommon subsequence between a and b if the longest uncommon subsequence does not exist return minus one right and uh, let us go through the example one here if we are given a is equal to a b a and b is equal to c d c output should return three explanation one longest uncommon subsequence is a b a and uh, because a b a is a subsequence of a b a but not c d c and uh, note that c d c is also a longest uncommon subsequence example two uh, input if a is equal to a a and b is equal to b b output Longest uncommon subsequences are A and B. So let's go to the example three. Uh, if A equals to A and B equals to A A A, output is equals to minus one. Explanation: Every subsequence of a string A is also a subsequence of string B. Similarly, every subsequence of a string B is also a subsequence of a string A. So we are given a constraint. If A is less than equals to A dot length and B dot length is less than equals to hundred. A and B consist of uh, lower case English letters. So uh, you might this might sound, uh, sound confusing. Uh, what this definition and explanation is saying. Okay, let us go through the visual explanation. Uh, what we have, uh, what the question is trying to say is um, here we are given a twisting A and B, and uh, we have just we just have to find the uncommon subsequences between the given strings, right? So here we are given. Uh, okay, let me find. Uh, first, we have to uh, check that if the a is equals to b, if we get the a is equals to b, then we have to return minus one. Return minus one because we have to do uh, this uh, strings from the uh, given the, uh, string, right? And so if uh, what this means is uh, if uh, both the strings are identical it's obvious that no subsequence will be uncommon here yeah. hence return minus one so um, right and uh, if uh, now next uh, we'll check length of a is equals to length of b and so what we are doing here is um, length of a is equal to length of b and a is not equals to b right this is not equals to a is not equals to uh, b so let me give you the example what is what does this mean um, this means that uh, uh, a b c or a b d right Over here we are given the strings a b c or abd uh, uh, as required subsequences is out of their two strings one string will never be a subsequence of other string means return length of length of uh, a or length of what b so uh, now uh, after this we can also check like uh, g is length of a right which is not equals to length of b 
code for this uh, let me take you to this example too if we if we find a uh, abcd abcd and uh, we are given to find the subsequence from abc so abc and so abcd and abc now uh, here what the condition is uh, uh, we cannot find the subsequences from the larger number of string uh, to the lower number uh, small number of string right uh, in this case uh, we can consider bigger string a is uh, required subsequence because bigger string cannot be subsequence of a small string hence return maximum length right hence the maximum length of uh, a right maximum length of a and the maximum length of sorry yeah length of length of b right so these are the cases that uh, this question is trying to say mm, we are given a two string uh, we have to check first if a is equal to b uh, then return minus one uh, because we have to find the uncommon sub strings uh, subsequences uh, right and uh, if length of a is equal to length of b and a is not equal to b uh, in this case we saw this example suppose a b c or uh, a b d length of a or length of b uh, and uh, we have another cases if length of a is not equal to length of b that is uh, here in this case you can see that a b c d this is is greater than this string right uh, and uh, thus we have understood the explanation okay let us go through the code solution now so it's a very easy problem okay we'll check first for a is equals to b right a is equals to b and if we might uh, meet this we return minus one right and we'll check for next uh, if we get this uh, we then else else what we do now is um, return maximum maximum of uh, what uh, a dot length a dot length and uh, b dot nth length right and uh, similarly will in this solution uh, let us check and uh, as you can see here uh, your input is aba and cdc we got the output uh, 3 and 3 you can check um, by putting up any value uh, uh, or any strings uh, using the use test cases okay i'm gonna submit this solution now